week and my god don't i know it oh, let's just take some deep breaths let's just take a deep breath and another one you need another one this is actually the last video that you're going to see this apartment in this is officially moving vlog one step one of the moving process um i'll let you know what's going on over the next couple of weeks in a second and just bring you up to speed because it is not straightforward because that would be too easy wouldn't it when is life ever straightforward i think i've started every single video for the last 18 months in this exact spot and this is the finale this is the final intro in this little spot in my kitchen because next week we'll be somewhere completely new. This past week, I just, like my, the room that I'm standing in right now just summarizes how I feel on the inside. There is just stuff everywhere. I've like given up with keeping the house tidy because it's just not possible. So I've just let it completely descend into chaos. We've started moving some stuff and I don't know why, but I've never found moving house that stressful until this time. And I've honestly moved house like at least 15 times in my life, probably more like 20, which is a lot to be honest. Poor me going through this so many times. I have honestly been stressing out so much this week. I've been having stomach aches from just stress. Can't be good for me. Nothing is actually that stressful in reality. There's a lot of bigger things going on in the world, but it's not as simple as moving from this house to the new house, because the new house, big surprise, is not quite ready, which is just always the way with building, I feel like. But I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. So today is like getting all of the final bits out of cupboards and Kenny will be home at some point quite early this afternoon. He's actually got a few days off work, which is so helpful. It's just been perfect timing with his little break from football um, for the move, so that's good. Okay, so let me walk you through what the next couple of weeks are going to look like. We are moving first and foremost. Oh God, I'm stressed even telling this. Like, I'm literally breaking out. That is the level of stress I've been feeling. So I will be so relieved when this is over because my poor body cannot take much more of this. I mean, it's me stressing myself out. It's obviously not that stressful. So today, like I said, we've got to pack everything up. Tomorrow morning, the removals men take everything over to the new house, um, which is still a building site, pretty much. I mean, we're getting there, but it's still definitely a building site. Then tomorrow night and the night after, we're in a hotel in Manchester because we have to do things like let the end of tenancy cleaners in, but we can't stay here because we don't have a bed, we don't have a mattress, we literally this will just be a completely empty space. Then on Saturday, we move into our Airbnb and our Airbnb is actually back where we used to live. So where I started my YouTube channel, actually. So if you've been here that long, you will know kind of the area that we're moving back to, which I'm really, really excited about. It's just like a really simple, but nice Airbnb. Rue absolutely loves the beach. So I'm really excited to do dog walks on the beach and stuff. So then we are there for 10 days I think and currently the plan is that we move into our new house which will still not be quite finished but on the 1st of April so anyway that is to bring you up to speed with what the plan is over the next couple of weeks this morning as you've seen I've already been to a workout class that has been my little hour of like enjoyment funnily enough because I always go at like seven ish eight ish at the latest so normally that's my hour to myself before I start getting like phone calls and I have to ring people and like the world kind of like starts running at 9am. Little tiny bit of time where I only have to think about me, not the house, not packing, not the builders, not anything. Um, so yeah, and then I actually saw a friend for coffee this morning, which was really nice. Then I got my nails done and now it's time to get productive. And then this afternoon I need to go to the Trafford Centre, I'll take you with me. And basically I just need to stop talking and we just need to get stuck into it. Now I filled another one. As you can see, my wardrobe. I mean, it's nearly empty, but it's not even empty. And I, I can't lift this. This is the job for Kenny. Can you even see? Let me put it down. I mean, what is going on? 
That's gonna have to just stay here. I can't move it. Oh. Like the last deliveries I get to this house, hopefully, I need to let everyone know we've moved. One is my phone case, I'll put that on in a sec. It's from Bell Cases, and I just thought it was really cool. But it does definitely look better on silver iPhones, so I don't know what that's gonna look like on mine. And then this one, I believe, is yeah, I bought you know my Adenola leggings that I've been wearing like every video with the V, they're so flattering. So I bought them in, oh, navy as well. I think it's called Midnight Blue, but they're really nice. And I get them in size small. When we go to the Trafford Centre later, actually, I want to see if they have the tops in stock so I can get them. running downstairs because in our like recycling room everyone puts all their cardboard and stuff in so there's normally a load of boxes so I'm going to go raid the boxes and see if there's anything that we can use. Oh no. Oh no. They've obviously just cleared it so there's not a single box. Oh dear. Right we need to think again. That might just be the recycling for our tower, because there's like four towers here. So maybe I'll go up to reception and find out um, why the other towers store their boxes and try and steal some from that. All the boxes in the whole building have just been cleared, so I don't know what happens now. Okay, I'm taking a little break until Kenny gets home now, because honestly, we've run out of boxes and I don't know what to do. Big surprise, I've got some tomato soup for lunch. Um, thank God I have that, because as you might have seen, I didn't see what you saw when it opened up, but there is nothing in this fridge. We've got just enough to make some dinner tonight, but other than that, pretty much like everything is empty, because obviously we're about to go to a hotel, so we have nowhere to take the food or anything like that. So, um, yeah, gonna have some lunch. Just wait for Kenny to get home and solve all of my problems, hopefully. I'm over already. Moving is so boring. And we've got to move to a hotel, then an Airbnb, and then into basically a building site, so... Stunning, stunning, stunning. Absolutely no surprises on my lunch today, but I have treated myself to an extra piece of toast because the bread needs using and I need all the energy I can get to get through today. This is my new phone case, by the way. Like I said, it looks way cooler on silver phones, um, but I'll go with it because it's here now. It's from Spell Cases. Um, so I'm gonna tuck into this and then hopefully Kenny will be back to help. Our neighbour's come to our rescue and given us all these moving boxes because he's just moved in. Um, so now we have more than enough boxes and I just need to sit here and actually construct some of them so that we can start putting some stuff in boxes.
it's actually hot today. Just pulled up at the traffic centre to do some returns. I've got the roof open. Look at that, look how nice. Look how much of a nice day it is out there. So nice. So yeah, let's go into Selfridges and get these returns done. There's one or two things I might pick up if they've got it, but it's Adenola stuff and um, the stock for Adenola is normally really bad. This is the top that I need, but they've only got it in a large or a medium. And also they do like a cropped version of it, which is what I ideally wanted. I also want one of the white sports bras, but the ones with like the thicker straps, so they don't have what I need, but to be honest, they don't, they are actually pretty well stocked today, but, oh yeah, like this, but in the navy blue. I think these are so pretty from the white company. I just walked past them on the big mannequin on my way out back to the car. But they are just like the perfect spring pajamas. I actually love them. In fact, their whole kind of like spring collection is really, really pretty. Yeah. We're just about to do our first run of the day over to the house. I don't know, he's obviously forgotten his, in he must have forgotten his indicators on or something. We're about to do our run to the house. Then what's the plan with the rest of the day? Dinner, probably by then maybe. Another run today? Like late night run. Oh no, 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 no. I thought it was late night, dismantle the furniture. Yeah, welcome to one of mine and Kenny's most frequent arguments or disagreements, whatever you want to call it. I guarantee we'll get home. It's half four now, so we're going to be like at least two hours till we're back in the house and it'll be half six. Somehow Kenny will think that we should dismantle the furniture before we make dinner or something like that. Am I right? We could get started, yeah. No, no, we could not get started. If it's half six, then we still got to cook dinner. Maybe we could put the sauce on and then start. So for dinner tonight, Kenny and I obviously had to use basically every single thing. I mean, look at the background, you can see what we're living in. Um, so we've got the most ridiculous portion sizes, literally about about a dish above Kenny's is, like the same height as the dish again with pasta on top. And it's just like a mixed veggie tomato pasta. We've put some meatballs from the freezer. It's even two types of pasta. It's very much just whatever we had. This is genuinely, I think the first time I've sat down today, apart from when I ate my lunch. So we're just gonna take some time and enjoy this. And then there's more to do after dinner. week we have finally made it into our airbnb where we're staying for i think like 10 days two weeks so come on then 10 days two weeks something like that we've got Rue back now which is nice um and yeah we can just chill because honestly the last few days when was the last day i filmed it wasn't yesterday i think it was the day before 
Um, and then we did a night in a hotel, didn't we? And then we woke up in the hotel this morning, packed up the car with the stuff that we're bringing to the Airbnb and then drove up the motorway and to our Airbnb, which I will show you around in just one sec. Hey. But yeah, it's been a very full on week. I'm so glad to just chill now. Like Kenny and I were just saying to each other, it's so nice to just not have a thousand things that we have to do now. Like we can actually just sit down and like this evening we can have some wine and just celebrate being, you know, all moved out of Manchester and almost, almost two weeks away from starting a whole new chapter in the new house. But in the meantime, it's actually really, really nice to be here. Um, I think I mentioned this, but we are staying in an Airbnb where we used to live. We're back there, like right by the beach, which is really nice. Plus this addition. So let me show you around the Airbnb. And then this afternoon, we're gonna do a food shop, take Rue to the beach and just chill. So let me show you around. So this is the main room when you come in. Obviously this is our little kitchen living space, which I actually think is really nice. I love these windows. It's on a really nice street. Um, they, funnily enough, I was saying to Kenny earlier, these streets when we used to live here, I used to walk down and think like these are like my dream homes that Kenny and I would buy, like something like this. It's just really nice and light and bright in here. The little fireplace there actually works, which would be nice because it's still quite cold. I've already had to set up my Mac there because I'm editing this video actually so that I can hopefully somehow get that done today and get it up tomorrow for you. Other than that, it's just a really nice modern kitchen. It's got a really nice feel to it because we've got the high ceilings, big windows. And I was actually saying to Kenny when we were driving here that when we used to live here, I used to go on walks on my own all the time. And that was when I first started to really, really want a dog um, because I was doing the walks every day anyway and I've always wanted a dog. Anyway, and I said, what a nice full circle moment that we're back here for 10 days and I've got my dog to do all the walks that I used to do. Hey, we're gonna go to the beach in a sec, aren't we? Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's this room. And then just through here, we've just got the bathroom, which I mean, it's what it is, just a little bathroom sink and everything's behind there. And then we've got our bedroom with all of our stuff. So um, yeah, because we're here for like 10 days, two weeks, something like that, we've actually like moved in. We're gonna go do a food shop later. Um, because we can't eat out for an entire week. So we've just bought a few bits, some treats and stuff for Rue. And then we're gonna do a big food shop later. No, you don't need to bark back. You don't need to respond. Shh. Yeah, you're just happy to have a break, aren't you, from the move? Yeah. It was hard work, wasn't it? I'm gonna take you somewhere in a minute. I'm gonna show you where I used to go. That's gonna be fun, hey? Mm. Oh, missing out. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh, oh missing dear. out. So, Dad, can we go to the beach now? No. Why not? Can we go to the beach? No. Why? No. Why? Too tired. You must be exhausted, to be fair. <laughs> going to go and do a food shop now and Kenny reminded me that we have booths up here. Um, booths is kind of like, the way I would say is booths is kind of like the northern Waitrose. That's how it seemed to me anyway when we first moved here. Look how pretty this is. All the, they are called daffodils aren't they? You know when you have a uh, complete mind blank? They are aren't they? The coast is obviously just here. Um, do you remember the windmill? We used to live right down by this windmill. Do you remember? Yeah, did you see a little fat sausage? No, I didn't. Kenny loves sausage dogs. To be honest, I think it's sausage dogs that convinced Kenny around to having any type of dog in the first place. But now we've got this. 
so I'm very excited for this food trip because I think we're going to just treat ourselves tonight and have like a really lazy oven kind of dinner because we've had a very full on few days and we just want to chill tonight basically. Blue skies, the weather's been so nice today. Um, I'm really, really happy. I feel, I was saying to Kenny, I feel really, really happy, just like really content and peaceful. And I just feel like it's so nice to be by the sea. Um, what do you think? You happy as well? I'm happy, always happy. Kenny's language. It's, it's, it's subjective. It's the Aussie in you. It's I feel like I feel like his language is absolutely appalling, and I feel like that's an Australian thing. They seem to swear every other word. I tried to tell him it's not the vibe around here. We don't swear. Um, but anyway, we're nearly at Beads now because it's just around the corner. Where are you going? Look at the old gaff. We're doing a little road trip. We should have shown Rue. We should have taken her on a walk. Oh my gosh, what are they putting there? Oh, they're putting a, a new, new window. A new window, I guess. Yeah, this is like the end of this town that we used to live in. So we're just gonna go check out where we used to live. Although I don't miss where we used to live at all. I miss this area, kind of, what? Oh yeah, that woman. That's where our landlord used to live. And I wrote her such a heartfelt letter to ask if we could possibly have a dog. Cause it was the most perfect house for a dog. Like all of the floors were wood floors and it had like a little garden and everything. Anyway, she said no. And obviously she's well within her rights to say no. I understand it. Kenny's the landlord, he probably gets it. Would you allow dogs in your places? Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Still, she's not our favourite person because we really, really wanted a dog. Well, nothing's changed, has it? No, oh, no. look, there's like stuff up there. She must be using that as like a dressing room. That's makeup bags and stuff. Yeah, it all looks the same. Anyway, I'll show you what we get when we get to Beats. I thought I would show you everything that we picked up. So we just got all of our usual like veg and whatever, because we will definitely do some proper cooking in the next 10 days. Um, so all of the green veggies and then some potatoes, carrots, of course, an absolute staple. Um, and then for dinner tonight, we kind of got a random selection of things. So we got this vegan uh, tomato and spinach quiche. We got one of these white rabbit vegan pizzas, which wait, I hope this is, yeah, 100% plant-based. Um, which has got peppers, mushrooms, and obviously vegan mozzarella. And then, I don't know if anyone remembers, I always used to have this. Whenever Kenny had an away game and I couldn't be bothered to cook, I always used to get this because it's really good. And then Kenny got a vegetable lasagna. I picked up some kimchi for the week, two soups just for easy lunches, some hummus, and then we got some of these blue corn chips and Kenny got regular, just like kind of salted chips. And then finally, we got some of this potato and rosemary sourdough and i think based on this are you about to make some okay. chips um no oh Just what are you making you bought our trusted pan with us i know this pan is the furthest thing from aesthetic and someone once said that like our non-stick had run out but the whole reason we use this pan is because it's not non-stick because non-stick is actually toxic once it starts to kind of like get cut and whatever so what's this again you have to tell me this every time carbon steel carbon steel so that's what we use no, we watched Dark Waters, didn't we? Yeah, that's about the pan. If you haven't seen Dark Waters, then <laughs> watch it because we honestly threw all of our non-stick pans away the night we watched that and we've only ever used... Um, we use carbon steel or cast iron. That's right, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to pop all this away and I'm definitely going to start snacking right now. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> Here's our little dinner. I mean, we've had a quiche and a pizza and hummus and crisps before this. So I've got my rice and then that little chickpea curry I showed you. Kenny's cooked some potatoes because apparently potatoes go with anything. Look at these two. Um, and then he, he said it's not a real oven dinner unless you leave it in its container. So he's got his veggie lasagna in there. And we're having to sit on the floor because obviously the dining table is now my office. So. That's that, you want me to get the hummus, yeah? And a knife, Okay. I've just come into the bedroom.
bedroom because I'm going to get into my pyjamas in a sec um, and then I probably am going to be editing until late in the evening because obviously I haven't had a chance to even so much as log on to my computer this week but that's all good it's really cozy and nice in there and I've got my headphones on and Kenny's just watching TV and we're all just chilling together. I'm actually really looking forward to this next week. I think it's going to feel like a little tiny mini break before we move into a building site next week. But anyway, my camera is flashing at me. So I'm just going to really quickly say thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have the best week ever. I'm so excited to be somewhere new um, and just to bring you some fun, new, different kind of videos for the next few weeks. So yeah, have the best week ever and I will catch up with you next Sunday. Bye guys. Bye.